Can Bruno be leaving Manchester United? For those who are wondering, I, for myself, I just don't know. There's a lot of speculations from Bruno Fernandes as well regarding his agent going around doing a world tour, um, speaking to many clubs and clients. But Bruno himself would like to stay. But guys, for those who are watching, make sure you, first of all, subscribe, smash that like button and share across all social media platforms because we're about to venture into what Fabrizio Romano himself posted on his YouTube videos. And a, a couple of outlets have been posting himself stating that Bruno Fernandez's agent is looking for a move for him. But again, Bruno doesn't think that. Bruno doesn't want that. And as well, Manchester United looking for two new centre-backs. Guys, sit back. Let's enjoy the latest Manchester United news. For those who are running, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bruno Fernandes, he just had an excellent game against Manchester City. Why do you want to leave? Like, why is your agent speaking to other clubs? For those who doesn't know, Manchester United are looking to do different things and go different ways with this in your group. And there has been speculations before, and Bruno did come out saying that at the moment, he's focusing on the FA Cup and the Euros. And then after that, they can talk about his future because there have been talks. And I remember the last game of the season, Bruno twerking to stay at Manchester United. But his agent is going around, twerking, talking to clubs and seeing possible deals. And of course, not just for his play himself, um, for other players, not just including Bruno Fernandes. But again, do you guys want Bruno to leave? That's the question. We're going to look into it. We're going to look at what... Fabrizio Romano has said himself in his video, first he talks about centre-backs and then he talks about Bruno Fernandes. So guys, you sit back, let's, let's watch this video and let's react. This video, the first one is about the centre-backs because we know that Manchester United are actually busy with centre-backs. They have several names in their short list. We know they appreciate Brantwaite, we know they appreciate Todi Bow, we know they appreciate Bremer, for example. So there are several candidates for new Manchester United centre-back. But according to my information, there is also the concrete possibility for Manchester United to sign two centre backs because what I'm hearing is that in the see a possibility for Manchester United to sign two new centre backs, not just one but two, which means of course Varane is gone and maybe the speculation of Johnny Evans' future as you only sign in one year, so it kind of makes sense why Manchester United want to sign two new centre-backs. The recent days, Manchester United also started inquiring for some left-footed centre-backs. So not only right-footed, but could be also one more and could be left-footed. Based on the outgoings, based on what they will decide to do in terms of budget, but May United in the recent days have asked for left-footed centre-backs too. So keep an eye on this possibility for May United to go for two centre-backs in the summer transfer window. When it's about left-footed, we have to see who it could be the candidates. For example, I remember here on the channel in October, I told you that Gonzalo Inacio. Two two new centre backs, one left footed, one right footed. Interesting. Someone to support, of course, Lissandro Martinez. From Sporting is a player. For example, I remember here on the channel in October, I told you that Gonzalo Inacio from Sporting is a player they have been following for a long time. Uh, May United, Liverpool. So let's see what's going to happen with the, the centre backs. But May United will be really busy on the market with that position. And in terms of uh, Man United, I wanted Gonzalo Inacio is another candidate. That's two. That's another one I've heard. Of course, we've got Tadibo and we've got um, Gerald Bradford. Let's continue to hear what Fabricio has to say. We'll be really busy on the market with that position. And in terms of uh, Man United, I wanted to clarify something on Bruno Fernandes, guys. I can guarantee that the agent of Bruno Fernandes, Miguel Pino, this week and in the recent days has been around Europe to meet with really important clubs and discuss about the general situation uh, of his clients, uh, but also of Bruno Fernandes, obviously uh, the most important one. Uh, he had some conversations at the moment we can't talk about negotiations, but just to understand the situation around Bruno, because Bruno remains fully committed to May United, really happy at May United. Uh, he wants to win and his message to May United was pretty clear. So Bruno's intention remains to win at Manchester. Manchester United, but in order to make a final decision on his future, he wants to understand the United project. He's also about the manager. And so together with the club, they are waiting to see how to proceed. It doesn't mean that Bruno is leaving May United. There is also the possibility to continue together. But at the moment, what we can say is the reality. Facts. And the facts are that his agent was traveling around Europe to discuss also about Bruno with some important clubs. Now, let's see what May United will decide to do, what kind of project for the future they will present to Bruno. And we will understand more on his future really, really soon. And then you look at the uh, simple goal 
But guys, make sure you guys follow them. Bruno Fernandes agent Miguel Pinto met, met with several top clubs around Europe this week. Bruno remains fully focused on Manchester United and the final decision on his future is yet to be done. That's, and that is, of course, Simple Goals tweeting them out earlier this morning. That's one of the tweets that I saw and I was thinking, wow. Okay, interesting. And then I go and watch Fabrizio Romano's video and you can hear it. Fabrizio says his agent is talking to other clubs regarding many of his clients, not just Bruno Fernandes, but other clients as well to see um, whether a move could be made just in case things doesn't go well for his player, Bruno Fernandes. And in the current situation, as I sit right now with Manchester United, Manchester United, in terms of Bruno, I couldn't see Bruno Fernandes leaving. I can't see it at all. I, I really can't. There's so much work to be done before we get rid of Bruno Fernandes. Manchester United got strikers, centre-backs to sign, left-backs to sign, a whole bunch of midfielders before you think about getting rid of your best players. And I've always been that guy that's always been attacking Bruno, always been against it. But today I'm going to defend him and say, you know what, Bruno, you can stay for one more yeah. And regarding centre backs, of course, Ignacio from Sporting, there's been this a very, very good left sided centre back as well. And of course, Usman Diamande is another player in Sporting. I would hope Manchester United can go and sign. Gerard Brickway from Everton is a player Manchester United are also interested in. And Jean Claire Tadibo, who's a brother sister's club to OGC Nice for Manchester United under Ineos will be the most easiest transfer that Manchester United can do. So guys, you guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Do you think Manchester United should go for any of these centre backs? Who is the centre back that you want? Do you actually believe that Bruno Fernandes is also set to leave because of his agent going around doing a world tour, saying my players are for availability and that? Do you want him? Let me know. But guys, in the comments, smash and like. Share across all social media platforms. More transfer news to come throughout the summer. And of course, the Euros watch along. Subscribe to Ready Night TV if you're a football lover and if you're a Manchester United lover. Till next time, peace.